Tom Till, Virginia, home of the Juicy Garcia and world-class music at least four or five times a week. We are very, very excited, happy, and honored to have this next group coming up tonight. They're on tour right now, all the way up from uh, Roxboro, North Carolina. I played in Delaware last night. I think tonight's the last leg of their tour. And uh, here we have an all-American, hard-working man, the lonesome truck driver himself, Travers Chandler and Avery County. Make him feel welcome. Start looking for the end of that long white line. Gonna hit the road, 
you. Well, as Eric told you, thank you. We're Travers, Chandler, and Avery County, and we're awful pleased to be here with you tonight. And uh, we're gonna do our best to entertain you with some traditional hardcore, hard edge, bluegrass, and country music. So uh, without further ado, if there's any requests along the line, you can holler them out. If we know them, we'll try them. But uh, we'll do you some stuff that's uh, from our previous recordings and some stuff from our upcoming album. And uh, right now, we're gonna move right along with the program and uh, introduce the bass player to you. She comes to you from uh, rough in North Carolina right now, and she's from the Danville, Virginia area originally. I've known her a long, long time, and uh, she's gonna do a lot of singing with you tonight. This is my singing partner, Miss Starlet Austin on the bass. <laughs> we'll do your song now called uh, The Children Are Crying. stuff about whiskey but none of the good stuff it's called whiskey
Southampton County, Virginia, and uh, back in the 80s and 90s, he uh, started out pursuing a musical career, played with Bill Monroe, moved out to Nashville, and then decided very wisely, probably, to, uh, you know, I'm going to retire one day, I'm going to get old, I better, better have something to retire on. I'm old now. Uh, he's old now. <laughs> we were joking about this yesterday, like, when his kid graduates school, they're all going to think he's grandpa. <laughs> But uh, he, uh, he hadn't been doing a whole lot. He's been working for the federal government and all for the last uh, years. And uh, so uh, we, we met a while back and uh, he was ready to play some music. So we plucked him up and got real lucky to find this guy. He's going to sing you a song right now. And uh, from Cortland, Virginia, everybody make him welcome, please. That's Big John Talley there on the guitar. He'll do one here that uh, I'm sure he did many times when he was working for Mr. Monroe. Uh, one called Can't You Hear Me Call.
Attributed to AP Carter, he probably stole it from somebody, knowing him. But, uh, uh, <laughs> well, that's what he was known for. Uh, <laughs> Starlin Austin here, she's going to do one called Bury Me Beneath the Willow, My Darling. Austin here. 
good job there, man. All right, we're gonna move on with the program here. We just went in the studio and recorded a new album. And uh, the name of that album will be Lonesome Truck Driver. And uh, on that album is a song, I don't know if anyone is familiar with the music of Doug Som from San Antonio, Austin, Texas. But uh, I'm a huge Doug Som fan. Way back in the 60s, he had a band called the Sir Douglas Quintet and moved on through the 60s, 70s, and 80s doing country and Tex-Mex. That all culminated in the 90s, early 90s with a band called the Texas Tornado. This was a song that Doug Som wrote. It's on our new album. I thought I'd bring a little Tex-Mex to the traditional bluegrass world. This was called, Who Were You Thinking Of When You Were Making Love Last Night?
dressed on. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, if there's anything you'd like to hear, we'll try if we know it. We're going to move up into the B chord now. The uh, standard uh, standard chord for bluegrass. We'll reach back. I noticed I went to the bathroom there a little while ago, and uh, there was a beautiful mural of uh, Don Reno in there. And I said, any place that has Don Reno hanging on the wall, it's got to be all right with me. Um, so we reach back and get one of the Reno and Smiley standards now that Leon Jackson wrote many years ago. Not that anybody cares, but Leon Jackson was from uh, was a car builder and worked for the Ford Motor Plant in Detroit, Michigan, and he wrote this song and recorded it for Star Day, and it didn't do very well, but it did very well when Reno and Smiley picked up on it. We can get a little pep on this one. One call love, please come on. to here, so he's a student over at uh, Shenandoah University in Winchester, and uh, I've known his dad a little, quite a while, and uh, I called his dad this weekend to see if he could help, and he said, I'm not around, but he said, try my son. I said, well, your son don't play the band. He said, yes, he does. He plays everything. So uh, um, so we called him. He was kind enough to come out here and, and uh, help us out tonight, and uh, we're going to feed, yeah, it's all right, it's a platform. The more you clap, the smaller his head gets. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but he's still got the beard going on. Uh, so we'll turn him loose on the five-string banjo. This is Mr. Uh, Kyle Winbeck. Kyle, the floor is yours, sir. What would you like to do? Uh, J.D. Crow tune. He got this song out of a phone book. He got the idea for the thing. He saw something about a blackjack in the phone book, so it's called Blackjack. Maybe I'll win. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs>
said earlier we uh we recorded uh, a new album uh last week and uh hopefully we'll have that out soon this will be probably one of the first singles off the album this is uh i'm told a controversial song but most of the people i've played it for so far seem to like it uh it's written about a traveling preacher and his uh, choir director but it's actually about bill monroe and Bessie Lee malton let's not joke around and uh try to cover it up for what it is uh, it's a well-written song by Mr. Rick Pardue, a songwriter down in North Carolina, and uh, we'll try it for you now. It's one called Bill and Bess. Yeah. 
Uh, right now we'll uh, feature Miss Starlet Austin here. <clears throat> Starlet, you feel like singing one? Giving my voice a little rest? How about about five in a row? How about Little Willie? Little Willie? All right, that works for me. That's another one that goes back to the dinosaurs, don't it? It does. I figured you'd like that. <laughs> Well, little Willie, 
That goes out to all my mash grass friends out there. They think I don't know how to do that stuff, but I, I said I didn't have no use for it, but I didn't, I didn't never said I couldn't do it, right? <laughs> Starlet, would you like to sing one from the new album, please? Do you mind? Just don't you cry, darling, and me, because I ain't going to make it. Well, you'll make it just fine. Whatever you miss, I'll take the lead off. All right, so I guess we'll forget about that. Go on to the next one, then. All right, I've introduced everybody. I'm going to let Starlet introduce myself because that would be a little conceited to talk about myself. Don't you talk about yourself. <laughs> I've been knowing this here gentleman for about uh, 20 years, I guess. I'm an old man, an old geezer. <laughs> we were like one. Yeah. Um, that would make us drinking age right now. <laughs> anyway, I started playing with him back here in January. He finally approved me to be in the band. So, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> uh oh. I had to meet the equal opportunity quota. Oh, you had to finally have a female in the band. That's what it is. Anyway, he hails from Roxboro, North Carolina. Y'all please make welcome Mr. Travers Chandler. Thank you, Starlet. I was gonna say it's nice to have you, but no, it really is. I, it's a real, it's a privilege to play with her. Um, she has to stand next to me, and all my sweat slings off onto her and everything else, and she never says a word about it. So. But she's a fine singer. We were gonna do a song off the new album, but we've been singing all weekend, and uh, voices aren't quite as crisp as they were Thursday. So if, if there's, I would like to feature you on another number. If there's something else you'd like to do there, B, we got a lot of ground to cover tonight. I'll tell everybody while she's thinking about what she wants to do there. Um, I will be uh, revamp, finishing the revamp of our website this week. And so sometime this week, you'll be able to go to TraversChandler.com and uh, learn more than you ever want to know about me and everybody else. And uh, But what is really special there is I have a tab there, we'll have... Uh, it's all about the music of Charlie Moore, so you want to, if nothing else, you want to go on there and take a look, TraversChandler.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all kinds of other things. Uh, if you happen to have a party or anything you'd like for us to attend or play or whatever, give us a call, drop us an email, send a carrier pigeon, whatever you want, and uh, that'll be our online home. You can find us there. Give us a like on Facebook, and uh, we'd appreciate it. Do what called a windy city.
these songs I've been meaning to get her to sing and I've been forgetting about them so uh, we might uh, might come up with some new set list tonight. Uh, Big John Tally, I think it's about your turn now. I do believe it's time for me to put you to work now. B chord? B chord, C chord, B minor, wherever you move in. Uh, in spare? Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Big John Talley worked with uh, Bill Monroe in the early 90s, and uh, he, he does a lot of the, the, the good Monroe tunes that a lot of people don't, uh, either they've either forgotten about or they don't really do much anymore. So Here's one called uh, In Despair, featured Big John Talley. Say hello to everybody. We'll come back for a second set. 
We'll do about two more here. Is everyone getting enough to drink? The more you drink, the better we sound and the louder you get. See, the more noise you make, the more rowdy we get. Drink away. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to do, uh, here's a song off the new album that uh, a friend of mine, Shannon Slaughter, wrote, sent this to me. And, uh, it's a good song, and uh, it was included in the new album. And uh, original song, it's a good one called Set in the Woods on Fire. feature uh, a little banjo picking, a little guitar playing, a little mandolin playing, a lot of bass playing, and a little bit of butt dancing. We'll call Train 45.
Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time. Travers Chanley and Avery County. And they're going to be coming back playing another set, so don't go anywhere. Get yourselves a Juicy Garcia. We got lots of great music coming here. Be court all the time. Tomorrow we've got the Irish Sessions and a chili cook-off starting at 1 o'clock. It's just $15 to enter and or try all the different awesome chilies. It's going to be a really great time. But you don't have to enter the chili contest. You can just come and hang out and have a good time. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. We're having a great time.
party people aka my kind of people you see after the big main stage closes down there's still a lot of us that want to see some music I really appreciate Del Fest uh, helping me stay up so late and I mean that told me we don't really have a curfew and that we can play as long as we want. I thought that was sort of dangerous too. What do you folks say?
Hey, hey, hey. Thank you all so much for being here at B-Corp Brewing Company in beautiful Round Hill, Virginia, home of the Juicy Garcia. We're very, very excited and honored to have some bluegrass legends here on the stage. It's a big honor. Please make them feel welcome. Travers Chandler and Avery County. second portion of the Travis Chandler and Avery County show. Uh, I'd like to mention real quick about a weekly television series on RFD television. If you have DirecTV, Dish Network, anything like that, and a lot of cable systems carry it now. There's a show on Sunday nights called The Bluegrass Trail, and we are featured artists on that show. And uh, we're going back in June to uh, film the second season of that show in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, I'd like to do a song that we did on this season's uh, episode of uh, Bluegrass Trail, and uh, 
This song is from a poem that dates back to the British Isles. And uh, Charlie Moore kind of revived this song a little bit in the 70s. And uh, I recorded it on my first album. It's one called Little Blossom. Oh dear, I'm so tired and so lonesome. I wonder why mommy don't come. She told me to close up my pretty blue eyes. And when I awoke, she came home. Love him, so I guess I'll go find. back to 70s vintage Bill Monroe. It's one called Mary the Home Place. Hey, 
side, that's all that. And I want what's called Stone in the Jukebox.
just to think of her still tears me down. And if tears or drops were pennies, or I'd be Josh did make a good suggestion. A broken clock is right at least twice a day. <laughs> this is a Charlie Moore song that uh, he wrote when he was um, alone and busted. He was playing the wheel and jamboree, and uh, they uh, got robbed and lost their, all their money, traveling money, and he was in a motel room, and he wrote this song looking out <coughs> on the Ohio River. We'll do it in E tonight. One call, wheeling.
This uh, is Pro. We'd like to thank everybody for coming out to Be Corn Brewing tonight. Thank you to Eric and all the crew here for having us. It's a beautiful establishment. And uh, some beautiful beer being crafted here. Somebody asked for uh, Somebody asked for this tune a second ago. We'll try it now. I did this last night in the bar. Managed to pull it off then. We'll try it tonight. We'll call Blue Night.
sweetest ever seen. Let me blue eyes a sparkle, she's a truck driver's queen. Oh 
Do a song I haven't done in a while. And, uh, this was written a long time ago. Uh, Johnny Jack Wright did this song. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll do that right after this one. She treated me like one too. Everything was good as long as I was putting the music out, but as soon as I stopped putting the music out, she kicked me and threw me out the house. Everyone call, listen to the rain.
Back on my face. 
Thank y'all. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, Travers Chandler in Avery County. The Lonesome Trucker. Keep an eye out for his new album. It's going to be coming out soon. Give him a blue thumbs up out there on the interwebs, Travers Chandler. That's Scarlett up there. Thank you all so very much. Thanks for coming out to B Corp Brewing Company. What do you guys think? Do you want them to do one more song? Oh, it's been a real honor having the real deal. You know, B Chord Brewing Company, we're named after the bluegrass music, the B Chord, the high and lonesome, and it's really an honor to have uh, such real deal folks in the house. So thank you all so much for being here. We'll tell all our friends, we're going to each tell 15 of our friends about tonight's show and tell them how awesome Travers is and his band. And then when they come back, we're gonna, we're gonna pack the house out. So. All right, all right. We're gonna be down at uh, White Oak Shores down in North Carolina on the 25th. And um, if any of y'all like to take a day trip, we'd love to have y'all down there. It's a great, great festival right there on the coast. Nothing better than bluegrass and water. He also has six CDs out. Um, we just got out of the studio with the number six. And uh, we did a bunch of material off of that today. And uh, we'd love to have y'all stop by and talk to Travers about it. He can point you in the direction of getting one. Because I tell you what, that's a, that's a jewel and a pearl to have in your library right there. If you got any requests too, write them on the back of a 20. We'll do them. <laughs> Send them on up. But just make sure you come on down to White Oaks.
Oh, yeah. Thank you all so very much. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Eminem is up next. EDM and all the hip-hop you want. No, seriously, give it up one more time for Travis Chandler and Avery County. That's right. And Kyle Winbeck sitting in it. Thanks, Kyle. That's like his sixth time here at B Chord. Get you guys some Chinese food. We got some good stuff there. Hey, thank you all so much for coming out. We got lots of great music here at B Chord Brewing Company, home of the Juicy Garcia. Thank you guys so much for being here. We love you. Couldn't do it without you. Everyone drive safe. And we got great.